Welcome to Desert Mountain Fine Art. We're here today with BC Nowlin. So excited to have his work. Well, obviously, I mean, who wouldn't be? <laughs> um, and you, where are you from? Uh, I'm from between Santa Fe and Albuquerque, New Mexico. Been there all my life. Really? I like the area. Uh, I have a separate studio over in the, the Ozarks, about 800 miles from home. But basically, I spent most of my life up and down the Rio Grande Valley, New Mexico. Yeah, cool. Well, welcome to Scottsdale. <laughs> Thank you. Thank we're, you. We're so, I mean, everybody here has been so excited to have your work in, in kind of our home area. You know, it's um, really getting great response. And I mean, one of the things everybody says when they look at it is it's, it's just so colorful. I mean, uh, how do you do that? <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm a immature painter. I love color. I want to amuse myself. Basically, I paint for <laughs> totally selfish reasons. I, I love bright color. I love things to excite me. I paint things I don't really understand. I paint mysteries. I'm not the artist that can say this stands for this, this stands for that. I have no idea what's going on up there. I, I, I just love, I love the punch. I love the snap of color, the life. I. I don't know if I've ever done artwork that didn't have a human being in it somewhere, because uh, that's the other story with my work. That's one thing to have a wonderful landscape and atmosphere, but I want humanity. I want this story of humans, and uh, oftentimes they're the most colorful thing in the whole image. So, when did at what age would you say you did your first paint? Oh, that's uh, you really love early, color, right? <laughs> really early. What kind? I started painting when I was about 12 years old. Oh, wow, 12. Okay. I, I borrowed my sister's bicycle. It wasn't cool, but it had a it had a basket, mm -hmm. and I rode it uh, about 15 miles into wow. town, into downtown Albuquerque, to find an art store. And I found an art store, and I asked, "What do people do? How do they do this oil painting thing?" Because I wanted to go to oils. I had already <laughs> worked in chalks. I was done with chalks, and uh, the, I got the little artist artist starter kit with the six colors, the size of your fingers, you know, little tiny tubes, mm -hmm. and some little tear off canvases, and I was up and going. Yeah. And uh, by the time I was in high school, I was painting 70 to 100 paintings a year. Wow. Because I wanted to. I, there was no, this had nothing to do with wanting to be an artist, because I never even thought about that. I just, I'm just dying to see an image. And I, I was vaguely aware that I was getting, you know, good at this. And it's like some guy can throw a baseball, I could paint. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is cool. And I became competitive. I wanted to be the best, best painter in my school, best painter anywhere. I just wanted to. And about the time I got kicked out of art class in high school, which is my last blush with formal education in any way, uh, I got picked up by a museum in Japan, had seen my work that some art teacher put on a national tour. Mm -hmm. And I ended up showing in the, muse the museum in, in uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Uh, it's a, it's a a small city in Japan that they still have my work to this day. Really? Okay. I think it's Kyoto. Yeah. Okay, Kyoto. And so, yeah, things were things were moving. I got I got attention early on. Mm -hmm. uh, I basically, you know, I kept getting fired from jobs because all I wanted to do was paint. I was tired because <laughs> I worked at night. I painted at night. I worked in the daytime. Or working daytime, I paint all night. Uh, it it art came and took took my life. Yeah. It pushed everything else out okay. because I just wanted to see. An image of my own making. <clears throat> I don't use uh, I don't use source materials. I don't. I have no sketches for this painting. There is no photograph behind this. This is my own my own approach. Wow. I want to create. So my artwork, I feel, is uh, it is. There's no reproduction to it. It mm -hmm. is a creation in itself. It happened on the canvas. Nowhere else. This was it. This was the moment. Yeah, and I think that's why your work's so well received. It's. There's so much soul in it. There's so much, and, and why Native American? Well, it, I used to paint, I paint, basically I think of myself as painting journeys. It's like the journey of life. It's the, it's everyone's journey. Uh, the Native American became sort of a muse for me. I grew up, my family's land is the southern border of the San Diego Pueblo. I mean, it, literally my old, my family's property is the outer, edge, the outer side of the Pueblo fence. And so I grew up, uh, running track with the native kids. We hunted rabbits the, the ceremonial way. Mm -hmm. We rode in pickups on certain roads the ceremonial way. Uh, this, was, to me, was a normal American childhood. I, I'm certainly aware now that it was not the normal American childhood, but I thought it was. And uh, they were my friends. Yeah. And the, the cloaks were, the cloaks stood for some, something. The way we held a rifle hunting little rabbits stood for something. 
And uh, that ceremonial aspect permeated my life. I used to do journeys. I, I painted people on motorcycles, on highways. Still do sometimes, whole series of highways, motorcycles, uh, people afoot, long rows of people afoot. I, there's something about the journey that really gets me. And eventually, there was an elegance to the native figure, to the native culture, which I'm still involved with, mostly up on the Pine Ridge Reservation at the moment. Uh, I've been involved with the Sundance, the Lakota Sioux for 30 some years. Uh, there's an elegance to it, yeah. and there is a history to it. But it's not a specific, this is not a specific tribe, this is not a moment in history. It's this open interpretation. I think we're all tribal people. We all come from tribal journeys, and so that's what I'm actually painting here. Uh -huh. I'm basically an optimist. I'm a spiritual yeah, optimist. That makes I, sense. If, that's if, what I feel. Yeah, can, that's what I feel. If there's any generality about what I do as I move yeah. from idea to idea is that uh, I'm painting something that, that lifts me up. I want to go over there. Yeah. I, I, I see a brightness ahead. I mm -hmm. see something intriguing. I want to go over there. There are these journeys. Okay. Yeah, I want to be in this place. Uh, I want to join these people. I'm still yeah. back here, but I, I, I feel welcome enough. That's where you're heading. No, I, I, am, I am asked constantly, why don't we see the faces? Mm -hmm. Why can't I, I, I never have a face turned toward the, the viewer. It, it stops the image. It gets too particular. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that reminds me of, you know, my old girlfriend didn't like. That reminds <laughs> me of old man so-and-so, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I don't do that. This way, it's everyone's story. Mm -hmm. Are they young or old? Are they male or female? Uh, they are who you believe them to be. And uh, I'm back here and I'm, I'm approaching them. Yeah. But they remain somewhat aloof from me as the artist. I mm. mean, as I said, I'm not the artist that tells you what this all stands for. Yeah. I actually don't know. And there, there's a piece of yours I saw that I thought like, oh, that could be, that, I feel like that's me. You know, oh, that, I feel like I'm that glad. could be me in the painting. Like, I mean, heading off into um, that's I the best to, yeah, response. That, that's exactly it. Uh, I love that. I about want your people. Work. If a person spent a year or so with a piece of mine, they know more, they know more about it than I do. <laughs> yeah. You know, they could call me, and I've had collectors tell me we just saw such and such, and I'm like, really? What's that? You know? <laughs> but uh, I don't think the artist necessarily has to understand their work as well. Yeah. You know, you produce the work. It's a mystery to me. I years ago I realized the less you know about this, the less you know what you're doing, the more interesting this is going to be. <laughs> So I don't have, I like like, <laughs> I don't have my little directions here like, I'm going to do this and this and do it that way. There, there is no sketch. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. There's no pencil work on the canvas. Mm -hmm. I, I remember thinking that I wanted to have this blast of light coming down like a, like a, a big rainfall. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what side it was going to be on. Mm -hmm. Would it feel like the morning or the afternoon, east or west? How many figures? Nothing. They just I start with a rainfall and... And go from there and evolve let it evolve you well know? The, the pigment in this we'll do some close-ups on it just so everyone can see i mean your your use of color is just so intriguing and we're so honored to get to show it here at desert mountain thank Fun you Art. we're gonna get to moving on but thank you all so much for viewing the video thank you bc for being with us here A for pleasure. the grand opening and, and for um this just giving us all this beautiful body of work we're so excited to share it and please come see us all at Desert Mountain Fine Art, see the whole collection, and we'll be seeing you soon.